All right, we're going to take a look at how some of the prototype pieces fit together. And uh, I have the final model in the background. You can kind of see you know, some of the re resemblance, the design in the head. And then you can see how the pieces are going to start coming together. This ends up being you know, like the torso part. This is going to be the neck piece. See how it's going to kind of rotate in there. And then they're going to get the ball joint for the head. See how that kind of fits together. So again, a lot of times with the prototype parts, you just want to see how parts fit together, how they function. It allows you to make a lot of uh, you know, tweaks or edits to them. And we can see this, this tail we put in there before. Um, and then just as, you know, just kind of a how do we plug these together inside. And then your little, this is your piece that kind of goes up top. And it's just got to, I mean, we're just kind of plugging it in right now. To kind of see how they go. Um, see how that stuff's kind of fitting together. And then you can kind of take the, the hind legs. And they kind of open up. And I left the pins out just because it's tight, it's going to friction fit in there, you kind of get the idea, but you can kind of see the whole, this is the hind leg, with, with the, uh, you know, vent port kind of thing, and obviously we made some changes to get to the end, but this one's pretty, pretty close. And again, right now we're just testing, you know, some of the fit, you know, make sure stuff can swivel, can fold up to be, you know, feet of Voltron. Uh, can also stand out to support the lion. A lot of what this design went after was like, how can we make a lion look more like a lion? You know, big shoulders in the front, and um, you know, just more posability that way. Now this. A little snug and if you look in here you can kind of see it things aren't quite lining up so you can check the file and then we can also check the um, the part maybe I just need to do a little more sanding the general idea something like that and then you can kind of see how the ball jointed part would work on kind of head would fit on and that's going to be a tighter snap too because I'm holding that up on my own um, but yeah I mean this is pretty much a good look at like an ABS uh, PLA plastic prototype of what ends up being something that looks mostly once it's full painted and you got the whole tooling you know completed and out of the mold painted all that fun stuff and assembled um, a lot better but you can see how how you kind of how you get there you know like obviously these pieces need some work this guy's not even snapping on so Got to check out that. You know, we got issues, we got fit issues here with this stuff not being able to go all the way through. And I really thought I tried to seam it down a bit, but you can see how there's some stuff up here that's probably preventing that. So let me take a look at that. But you know, this part of the lion went together very nicely. You know, so we got a lot of good things going on there. I'll kind of play around with how these go. Again, I left the, the pins out. But you can see how if we cover those up and just how that's kind of getting to be the legs. You know, and these are just slide-on pins. And I believe on this one they're a little more ratchety. Um, but again, you can kind of see the direction. The tail ends up changing a bit too. So it just kind of folds up. Whereas this guy's a slider. So again, some of the changes go into this and kind of see let's see if we were to I'll take that guy up and pretend this worked all the way you want to see how that's going to fit together you know in the foot mode kind of thing so loosely foot mode kind of action there So again, kind of seeing how some of it comes together and what these pieces can be used for. And obviously how to perfect your design through the use of uh, 3D printing.